All right, one and all, welcome to Neon Struct. I know I already did a walkthrough slash playthrough on this channel and a review, uh, but we're going to be doing something different today. Uh, I found out actually listening to the soundtrack because I quite like the soundtrack for study music or background music. It's pretty good. Um, I found out that the artist that did the soundtrack for the main game did the soundtrack for the DLC. And yes, there is DLC for Neon Struct. And um, it's free. It's not paid DLC, it's free. It's about a... I've heard anywhere between 45 minute and 90 minute uh, mission. It's like a single mission. And it takes place in New Mexico. I don't know if you're playing as uh, Jillian clearly in this one or not. But uh, it's got a soundtrack. I know that much. And um, the people on the Steam forums and Steam Workshop have been raving about it. Who have played Neon Struck, so... I have a couple drinks in me, and I had a little bit of time to kill, and I said, why not? Let's just do it. So, we're going to be doing a Let's Play of that. Mmm. Alright. A little bit of whiskey to get the night started. Alright, custom missions. I believe it's this one. Uh, Neon Struck the Dolce Archives. In Technophobia Episode 1, I think they're doing a new, ep like... A series of episodes so they're just they're kind of adding yeah these custom missions that the designers wanted to add and uh, it's very generous of them I know they're a small studio very generous of them to just um, real quick I'm gonna check my audio levels here and we are recording fantastic so go back to neon struct here um, yeah it's you know considering the fact that they probably need more money uh, especially if they're going to be supporting projects like this for free um, and they're still releasing this for free. So minor key games, I don't remember exactly what else they've done, um, but they've done some, I think they did Slayer Shock and some other things like that, so, um, they've done some interesting little titles. That's another game I'd like to do on here, but I'm really terrible at roguelikes, so maybe not. All right, without further ado, Dolce, New Mexico. Thank you for calling FizzBuzz Investigations. This is Detective One speaking. How can I help you? Okay. Hello, sir. Is the job proceeding according to plan? Oh, it's you. Yes. I've just hoped the fence and... I've just hoped... Oh, hopped. Man, I've been drinking, guys. Yeah, I've just hopped the fence into Dolce Base. Security looks lighter than I expected. And I think I'm Detective One. Do not let your guard down. You will be paid handsomely for the intel you retrieve. But I cannot help you if you are caught. I thought you were professional, Detective One. Must I hold your hand? I'm sorry, I didn't read the last ones. I just meant the job description was a little vague. If I already knew what your government was doing beneath Dolce Base, I wouldn't need to hire you to investigate. Officially, Dolce Base is a decommissioned relic of the cold from the Cold War, but there are strange patterns around it. Large si shipments arriving every week, unexplained energy signatures, a disturbing number of staff accidents. You think they're building some kind of weapon down there? I'm going to put a voice on this guy. It's not my place to make assumptions. You will infiltrate the base and provide evidence of their mission. And do be careful, Detective One. If you're caught, you will be tried as a traitor and I will make certain you cannot testify against me. I know the risks. Shut up and let me do my job. I don't give a fuck about your war or your president. I will be waiting. All right, so I'm going to get my Pliskin on. Uh, I got to say, I really like this sort of uh, sunset gradient they've got going on here. You know, when you go with this like southwestern theme or motif or whatever, it's kind of cool. Right, so. As I noted in my review, I believe this game has the same controls as Thief. By the way, the reason I avoided that door was I checked this out the other day for about five seconds. And there's a guard right behind that door. Little robot there I do not want to get involved with. 
I can't remember if the robots have like infrared and they can see you in the dark. I don't think that's the case though. I gotta say guys, this this is a great game. I really like Neon Struct as well. And you know Mac, really? Are you kidding? You changed the gate key code to 1984? I swear you're trying to get fired. Change it back before the boss finds out. Torv. Believe it or not, I think that's another looking glass reference because uh, 0451 is named after, comes from the book Fahrenheit 451, um, which is of course a dystopian sci-fi, you know, highly allegorical piece, and uh, obviously so is 1984. So I think that's a 451 reference without actually using the code 451. That's cool. You make the pigeons fly away, and he's like, what's that? Now, I'm wondering if I can get the drop on the lady in the office here. Or dude. Well, I think I can get him from here. guy's coming around here. By the way, for any of you wondering, I can ghost games like Thief and this game, but I just rarely do. Because I like to explore, and it's kind of hard to explore when you... You will find geocaches hidden in many places. Signing a geocache earns you one token. Tokens may be thrown to distract guards. Select geocache to tokens in your inventory with uh, one of the bracket keys, or I think that's the middle mouse button. Then press left to throw them. Okay. Better get out of the light quick. Go, 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 go. Come on, buddy. All right. One guy taken down. And uh, I'm going to save. Yeah, I don't need to. I have the full walkthrough up. If I want to play it again, I'll just play the whole damn thing. Oop. Seems like a good place for now, I guess. So sound propagation isn't too bad in this game. I can hear the guy on the other side of this wall here. So that's pretty cool. I mean, it's not to be confused with uh, OG Thief or anything, but... Yeah, I like this so far. We're breaking into like a Area 51, Black Mesa, New Mexico type place. Yeah, just like Gloomwood, the, the controls are pretty much just Thief. So, if you've played Thief, you can play this game. And I'm in a little really nice spot right here, so I'm just going to go ahead and save one more time. Make sure that we are ready to go. Get in the shadow real quick here. I hear a security camera. Alright, there we go. 
Nice. Now, I want to turn off the lights in here if I can. Try, whoop. Try and find a light switch somewhere. But I don't see one. That's no good. Oh, I don't have a hack tool yet, do I? Alrighty, 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 alrighty. Drop this guy here, and we're gonna check this way. I never understood what these were. I think that, like in the future, like trees are gone, so these are like supposed to be plants or something. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do this one. Okay, so let's not forget there's a camera right there. So I pretty much have to go this way. I'm just gonna leave him there because, well, no, I'm not. Yeah, I know not many people have seen it yet, but uh, the, the Neon Struct review I did is getting some good reviews. I will say, uh, that was an experiment. I did two reviews. One was uh, my typical unscripted, sort of freeform style, where I just have a bunch of bullet points, uh, notes that I wrote down about the game in front of me, and I just talk about it. The other was uh, scripted, and while I felt pretty confident with the, with the recording when I did it, ultimately it was pretty stilted, and I was not really happy with it. Um, and even though I scripted it, and I even reviewed the script, upon watching the review, I was like, oh yeah, there's a couple of things that I left out that I wanted to talk about. Um, so that was an experiment. I don't think I'll be doing that again. Uh, well, no, I will, but in a much different capacity, different context. That was weird. Yeah, see, they got those Ed 209 mechs down there. Uh, more Deus Exy, too, you know. <laughs> Deus Exy. Whoop. Shit. Alright, I'm gonna reload a save. Because that's, that's not gonna end well for anyone. I love the lighting. Look at this sort of like orange green tint and the film green and stuff. This is a very cool game. Ah! <sighs> okay, alright. Well, I'm gonna load. Yeah, that one. Okay, let's try this again. This is not great level design, if I'm being honest. But, you know, it's okay, because um, it's a free mission that the devs just kind of threw together. Yeah, so like I said, you know, and, and my unscripted version... My unscripted version of Neon Struct Review is... It's long, you know? I try to keep reviews for games that are like less than 12 hours. Hacking stims let you hack without using the breaking tool for a brief duration. Inventory, oh, okay, cool. Okay. 
Okay, got an anti-light grenade. Yeah, I discussed these in the review. I thought the hacking stims made hacking easier. I did not know that they let you get a free hack. Um, I think they work the same in, um, I'm not sure, though, but I think they work the same in, um, You tell me, guys, what's the definition of save scumming? Saving frequently or constantly reloading saves when stuff doesn't go right? Because I can I can try and play without um, constantly loading unless I die. I can try that. Although, in this game, there's not a lot of offensive options, so there's really no point. Um, but... Uh, I'm just kind of in the habit of saving frequently, and it's pretty much just because, for me, gaming is... I don't always have a ton of time to do it, and so I don't want to waste my time. I think I'm gonna hold. By the way, I was trying to use the WASD keys for this at the beginning. Just use the mouse. It is way better. Okay, alarm disabled, sweet. Also, when you're doing a let's play, you don't want to be like replaying like the same like walk picking shit and everything like that a million times. But, uh, yeah, so I, for games under 12 hours, I mean, if it's a game that is, like, has, like, complex mechanics and, like, there's a lot to it, you know, like, I think the original Deus Ex can be finished in an hour or something like that, um, but there's a lot to talk, or not an hour, 12 hours, there's a lot to talk about there, um, See, like this. I'm just making sure that we, like, save before anything that could potentially... Like that. Um, you know, but for the most part, did that, di oh, sweet, that disabled the camera, fantastic. There's two guards down there. Yeah, uh, but for, you know, by and large, it's, if it's a game that's under 12 hours, like, I, I did, um, uh, Plague Tale Innocence, and I still haven't finished a review on that because I don't want to script it, and uh, I think the last time I tried to do a review... Actually, I did a beautiful review of it. I was very happy with the content, and uh, the mic wasn't on. It was not recording. Which reminds me, I'm just going to double-check my audio right now. And we're looking good. Okay, so... I apologize for any ambient sort of, like, fan noise, but... Um, I'm running this on a laptop, and it is just uh, thermal management on that thing was not really a consideration. <laughs> Get over here and scope it out. Um, and, you know, the Neon Struct of You, it's a four-hour game, and while it has more depth than most indie games, um, and, you know, it's a pretty good sort of indie homage to Thief and Deus Ex, uh, it is just a four-hour indie game, so I, you know, my review ended up being, like, an hour and, like, 20 minutes or something, and I was like, this is just rambling, that's all it is. 
so that's why I went to, with the scripted review. But the scripted review I felt was very stilted. I mean, I really appreciate the positive feedback I've gotten on it so far. I really do. I'm glad people are liking it. But ultimately, it just what it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. Um, and I think it also showed me that scripting was more trouble than it was worth um, for my particular style. You know. Um, Okie dokie. I think we can just drop everybody in this corner here. You know, I think my, my ideas come across, you know, they may be a little meandering at times, but they come across a lot more clearly, ultimately. Um, and I say everything that I need to say when I'm off the cuff and I'm not scripted. It, it, script feels very constrained to me. Um, and I hate being forced to memorize or read things in front of a mic. Um, I took Arabic language in uh, college, my freshman and sophomore year. And um, they made us, in the first and second semester, they made us do these things. I think they were called Ole, O-L-E. Um, weird that you can't turn off lights in this one. I mean, I'm sure you can, I'm just saying, like, weird that there are very few light switches in these maps. Um, and basically what they would do is they would make you memorize a section of text uh, in Arabic, right? And then you would have to perform it in front of a mic and on camera so that they could see that you weren't, like, reading off of anything. Um, I really don't like this hacking system. I hated it more before because I was using the arrow keys and I, like, you just don't have the level of control to be able to successfully hack with the arrow keys. You just don't. All right, I'm gonna save real quick. Um, so I found it super frustrating. The issue I have now is it's too much RNG. I mean, I. It, Kudos to them for trying to come up with a more see, interactivity, very very sort of immersive simi deus ex looking glass design philosophy here. Um, I don't know how important it is with these graphics and the sort of surface level depth of a lot of the things that you can do. Certainly more than most indie games, but um, still f not shallow but you know it's not so I, I don't know if it's adding to immersion or anything but uh, you know I think it's more of an homage to those games rather than trying to add uh, immersion to this world but anyways um, yeah we had to do these things called the uh, Olays and they were just god awful And honestly, like, you'd see students, like, like having panic attacks in there and, like, pulling their hair out, you know, because, like, oh, that was the other thing. There was a time frame on them. You know, you couldn't just, like, you couldn't just, like, memorize it and then say it. It had to be, like, under two minutes. And if it was more than two minutes, they'd fail you. Like, I had this really tough professor. She was just ball-breaking. She was a nice lady, but, like, the standards to which she held us to were, like, a little insane. I'm glad they didn't have a hack on that one, too, because it's starting to get a little redundant. So health stim, speed stim, very cool. This, I have to say, there's a speed potion in Thief. I never really found a use for it. I'm glad that it's there because it's, it's another tool, but I personally never found a use for it. 
And but I will say, in one of the levels in the original Neon Struct, there is a use for the speed stim. So, anyways, yeah, you have these these assignments with a time limit, and it's a foreign language, and the language was actually fairly complex, and you have to memorize it, and uh, strange pronunciations and sounds that don't exist in English, and all of this stuff, and reading it in Arabic script too. It wasn't like a uh, phonetic uh, transliteration or anything. It was it was like so. It was really intense, and they would do every week at the end of the week by the end of the day Friday. Um, and if you didn't turn them in by five on Friday, you failed. So it was just too much pressure, like the whole thing. And ever since then, I have hated performing on mics. I have hated memorizing stuff. I have hated scripting stuff to be used on mics. So sound propagation is not super great here because it sounds like there's someone right next to him but I don't think so. I hope he turns the corner, yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, it's, I don't want to say traumatized, I think that's a little extreme, but I was definitely put off of the whole idea. Um, and it was, you know, it was easier than I thought it was going to be reading off the script, but ultimately I just wasn't happy with how, how the whole review turned out, so... I'm a little disappointed that the music has stopped. I hope I wonder if that's a bug because they they the guys who made this or did the soundtrack for this wrote quite a few tracks. Um, I do feel bad for them too because they they seem to have some pretty uh, slick musical chops. They made a in my opinion a very nice soundtrack that was sort of fitting for uh, the original game, uh, Neon Struct. Um. And if you check out their YouTube channel, they have like, I don't know, like 20 subscribers and just like uh, like uh, tens of views per video, so. But then again, it's not like this game is, you know, busting like, like sales, right? yeah, that's where the Ed 209 is, crap. It's not like it busted sales records on Steam or anything, I think the game is still pretty esoteric and obscure, so. Um, but still. This has got to be one of the weirdest ways to get a, uh... I'm surprised the music doesn't loop or, 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 uh, feed new tracks in or something. But to get distractions in a game, it's got to be one of the weirdest ways that I've encountered. You have to find these geocaches. Thankfully, they're not very hard to find. Okay, so we're actually going to go downstairs because I don't want to have to deal with that thing. I think you can get anti-robot grenades, but I don't know for sure. And I think that camera... is disabled. Hopefully from the hack I did up there. Okie dokie. Oh, mission complete. All geocaches 8 out of 10, no takedown. Okay. Sweet. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that these are not people I have to watch out for. Yeah, this is these are the living quarters of the Black Mesa facility here. That's pretty cool. 
I'm glad that they, this is a very sort of like, now that it's in this one, it seems to be a core element of how they like to design these games. These little sort of open areas that are very like Deus Ex, uh, you know, city before the, the mission style. Um, and then throw you into like a, uh, a mission with lots of stealth and sneaking and stuff, so. Good evening. Thanks. Can I get a coffee? Of course, here you are. Thanks. What do I owe? Oh, you must be new here. All in food and drink are provided at no cost. No, oh, thank you. Yes, please. Oh, sweet. See, I like this part of the game. Good evening, I don't think I've seen you around. Uh, I'm new here. Hmm, I don't think the new recruits were due until next week. Anyways, you want to go check with the officer in the barracks. Claim your bed and tasks before the others arrive. I'll do that, thanks. What's this? Oh, that's the barracks. Let's talk to this dude. Dolce base officer. Good evening. Excuse me. Officers Club. Commanding Officer. What are you looking at, son? Good evening, sir. What can I get you? Nothing, thank you. I don't drink. Wish I could say the same. Not that I have a problem, it's just... It does nothing for you, children. Um, I do enjoy the hell out of it, but... Uh, broad picture, broad optics, drinking doesn't really do a thing for you. So, Just keep that in mind if you choose to partake. What is up? Yeah. OBS or something doesn't like, or maybe because it's Unity, really does not like the frame rate on this. And I feel like I should be able to get in there and, and mess around with stuff. Maybe not. Yeah, let's go into the barracks, talk to the guy. Let's get our full metal jacket on. Welcome to Dolce, Ensign. Take any open bed you like. Once you're situated, go relieve the warden in the holding cell. Yes, sir. Excuse me. Good evening. Nobody in the state says that. I'm gonna explore a little bit more because I'm guessing as soon as I take the assignment, it's gonna be. Uh... Can I just say too? And I, I think I said this in the review, and I've said this a million times. I love mantling mechanics in games. Like, <sighs> I love that. I love it. I'm gonna drive the water bill up. Yeah, look at this. The women. This is true. This is true in reality. The women's bathroom always has like they've got something. They've got flowers or like chairs or like carpet or something. The men's bathroom is always like the most utilitarian thing possible. It's like that uh, bit in Seinfeld. The female body, you know, it's it's a work of art. It's elegant. The male body is utilitarian. It's like a jeep. It's just for getting around. Okay. I guess that's it. I'm gonna grab one more coffee just in case. It probably restores health or something, and but I don't know how you could take damage in this game without completely dying at the same time. 
I mean, so far with the challenges I've faced. You know, I have no offensive options yet, so. Okay, alright, so. Slept. Good evening. I was sent to take the next shift. Thank goodness I'm starving. Need the keys. Want me to bring you something to read? Gets pretty quiet here. No thanks. I'll manage. Have it your way. Alright, sweet. So. Got to the holding cell. Gonna run his sink too. Steal his money. And then we're gonna go talk to him. You here to interrogate me some more? I know my rights. I want a lawyer. Nothing like that. I'm new here. What are you in for? Brass thinks I've been poking my nose where it don't belong. Threw me in until they figure out what to do with me. <clears throat> but it's no big secret there's something weird going on here. We've all heard the noises from below. Screaming, gurgling, late into the night. I, uh, been curious about that too. What do you think it is? Hell, if I know, I start thinking, it's a real mission here. Still intercepting signals from Russia? Cold War's over, man. Not sure I follow. See, I think there's two Dolce bases. We're just the front for whatever's really going on downstairs. I started watching the CO. Figured he'd know the truth. Then last Tuesday, he was throwing back shot shots in the O Club. But it wasn't having fun. Looks scared. Followed him at a distance when he left the club. When he thought he was alone, he opened a panel at the end of the hall, between the barracks and the cafe. Some sort of hidden room back there. I saw a keypad, but when I tried to get closer to watch him enter the code, he caught me and threw me in here. Thanks for the info. I'll check it out. Careful. Whatever is going on down there is some seriously secret stuff. All right know what to do. I'm gonna go in, buy the guy a drink or something and see if he's gonna spill the beans. Excuse me. <clears throat> you the CEO? Yeah, I am. What do you want, son? I'm, uh, your new aide, sir. New aide? I don't remember anything about that. Figures. Barkeep? Another. Make it a double. Of course. Long day, sir. Long night ahead of me. Is there anything I can do to help? Stop talking, son. Actually, you could do one thing for me. Have you been cleared to enter the deep? Uh, yes, sir. I'll have to be able to accompany you there. Mm, Alright. Okay, head down there and let them know I'll be on my way shortly. I need me some more courage first. Yes, sir. Need the, uh, key card to get downstairs. What was it again? Are you serious, son? It's the easiest thing to remember. One, two, three, four. Oh, right. Thank you, sir. It's like the kind of code some idiot would put on their luggage. If anyone gets the reference. Alright, so I'm gonna open this and. Detective One speaking. What do you want? My, my, you're sounding quite tense, Detective One. Deep underground right now. Buff my way in here. Security's getting tighter. The skies won't do me any good down here. 
do be careful. The consequences for your trespass would be life-changing. Don't lose sight of your mission, Detective One. Bring me proof of what's going on in Dolce. Working on it. Talk when I get out. Okay. Good guy right there, and I think I can get into his office. I'm gonna wait for this guy to come around here. Or maybe I'm not. Let's do another save real quick. Dolce Deep Base. All right. Yeah, I'm really liking this game so far. Man, I really... These indie produced immersive sims are just great, in my opinion. I hope he doesn't clip through the wall when his buddy sees him. All right, you know what, I'm just gonna assume that he's going to do that, so that's better. Dolce Deep Base Mission Statement. Classified, do not distribute. In response to the increased level of communication from extra-dimensional sources. Oh, this is cool. And the possible threat to our nation and to our world from said sources. The U.S. government has authorized the development of the Dolce Deep Base to pioneer our civilization's exploration into unknown dimensions. Dolce Deep Base's mission revolves around three pillars. One, dimensional portal technology. To cross dimensions, explore unknown worlds, and capture foreign samples. Two, unmanned vehicles and interfaces. To mitigate risk to Terran personnel in our explorations. Three, biological and chemical studies. To analyze, understand, and develop defenses against foreign samples. So it is a Black Mesa reference. It's not a weapon they're developing. It's a portal to another world. This doesn't prove anything by itself. I'd better gather some more physical evidence. It's too bright in here. Hope this guy doesn't come in here, because I'm going to be screwed if he does. Nice. Caught him right at the perfect moment. You do move pretty molasses slow uh, when you're dragging bodies in this game. It's a bit obnoxious. Alright, gonna go. That should be good. We're gonna do another quick save. Yeah, this is supposed to be a Black Mage Mesa, I guess. That's a lot of... That's a lot of dudes. Hmm. Let's try and thin out the herd right now. Gonna check recording again real quick while we're thinking about it. Everything looks good. Yeah, his buddy's gonna pop right through that door any minute now. I 
think I'm going to keep these handy just in case. Nope. Okay, weird. If I, it, that's the other thing. The, the water arrows in Thief are pretty abundant, so you can create a lot of darkness. In this game, anti-light grenades are extremely rare, rare. I think I used them twice in the original game. I'm going to make a save anchor real quick, and then I'm just going to go start exploring. See what I can get away with. Maybe they'll give up. I don't know. We'll see. They're too close together. Oh, God, there's three of them. What do I have? Anti-light, speed stim, health stim, hacking stim. Okay. They're still just coming towards me. Yeah, that's not a good... So we're going to load... I think, yeah, that's the one. Let's try this. That was pretty cool. Got away from this guy. And now we're gonna use that geocache. There we go, that was pretty dope, all right. We made it work. <clears throat> okay, so let's do another save real quick. That worked pretty damn well. See, that's one of the issues with sound propagation. These guys need to have their own sound associated with them. Because it's I knew there was a metal floor in here by listening to the footsteps of the other guys. But this guy threw me off. I'm like, what, what do they have, like a clown car in there? Uh, I mean, it seemed like a clown car. Because I'm like, how many people do you have in there? Jeez. So... That was the main issue with that. Um, had they had like a robot noise, like a or something like that, uh, then I would have intuited that there's a robot somewhere over here. And I maybe don't need to worry about it as much as I'm worrying about other things. So, everyone's in position. I'm just gonna save over that last one again. And now we're gonna go exploring because we've just freed up some stuff. Well, let's see. Probably don't want to go through there. All right, so let's try this other door down here. Get this geocache token too. Oh, nice, I got a, a uh, piece of evidence or something. Okay, so we're just going to save again. Uh, save game. 
And here we go. Save real quick again. I feel like there should be a quick save button in this game, but I don't know what it is. And we're just going to go to options, controls, uh, bind controls. All right, F6. We're going to start doing that from now on because it's getting a little annoying. All right. How is this not a portal that I can go through? Are you are you serious? Well. Okay. I feel like that's a bit of a missed opportunity there. All right, we're going to go do this. Go over here and see what's what. That looks like a Star Trek uniform. Practically is a Star Trek. Look at those uh, aliens and stuff. This is very cool, but also very Deus Ex. Um, I think it's definitely a, a reference to Black Mesa, but also a reference to uh, to Deus Ex because there was aliens and stuff in Deus Ex. Although I heard, I, I think I read or heard somewhere that they weren't actually extraterrestrials; that they were genetically engineered. You know. Now I can use the scrambler to get around this guy because there's some stuff I want to grab up there and maybe even some stuff in the corner. But I'm just worried that it's a waste of a scrambler, you know? So, So if I can get him to come out here, maybe he'll open the door for me. No, it's not gonna happen. Oh shit, okay. Alright, let's do this. This looks like it needs a code. Oh, I had the okay, never mind, I have the art. I have the key card. I overcomplicated that. Ah, they did make Slayer Shock. These are models, or very simplified models, of things from Slayer Shock, the vampires in that game. And this looks like a Gorn. Uh, no, this might be from Eldritch. I think they made Eldritch as well, which is an interesting game. So I think that's a model from Eldritch. This is certainly a model from Eldritch. So they're trying to create a sort of multiverse issue here. I think that was from Eldritch as well. Very cool. And these nice little Easter eggs in this game. This is pretty cool. I like this. Alright. We're going to... Where's F6? There it is. I feel like I need to go here. save because I don't want to waste that scrambler. I can just wait till his back is turned. Can he cut through doors? No, I don't think so. So I'm going to read this note. I don't care for Dave's attitude. Please replace him ASAP. And could you reset the VR door code to 5041? 
That one was easier to remember. Thanks, Mike. Ha <laughs> ha, I see what they did there. 0451. 5041. Okay, cool. Attention all Dulce staff, stop writing down your damn key codes. This is the leading cause of electronic security failures. It's ridiculous. I shouldn't even have to say this. We're all professionals here, Dave. Okay, so. I'm gonna go and... Hmm, what am I gonna do? First of all, I'm gonna save right here. It keeps hearing me. It's obnoxious. Stop it. And I'm actually going to use my hacking stim because I don't have time to hack this. As soon as he turns his back. Please don't come here. Get away from me. Yes, path of... No, wrong way. Wrong way, buddy. Other way. I'm going to make a hard save here. In case I screw this up. And I'm also going to pour myself a little more hooch because, you know, makes you feel better. That is an obscure reference. I'd be surprised if anyone got that. And that really ages me as, that, that ages me a lot actually. So. <laughs> oh man. All right, come on dude, go away. It was nothing, it was just the wind. Didn't you get the memo? Anytime you see 40 bodies piled up in the hallways and inexplicable noises and things missing and doors open and key code or keypads hacked, it was just the wind. I think his AI is, AI is freaking out. Wow, this is a little frustrating. Yeah, his AI is freaking out. I mean, it's a it's a free DLC, people. What do you want? I was like, what was that? And then I realized, oh, right. I turned off the thing, and I hacked that one too. Okay, so we're we're all hacked up. You can just call me Machete because I, you know, everything I touch is just hacked up. Alright, so we're gonna save the game one more time right here. I did use my hacking stim. I think that was a good use for it though. Because I needed to get that. Uh, 0541? What is it? Five zero four one. There we go. That's what it was. All right, sweet. I'm just gonna quick save because I can't believe I forgot it. And it's not like you keep notes in your inventory or anything, which is a little, you know, whatever. But okay, so device schematics. All right, that should be enough evidence to satisfy the client. I should return to the elevator. Get the hell out of here before I get caught. I'm gonna try go 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 go. Woo! God damn it. Bet there's something good up there. Alright, well let's try the VR thing at least. I'm not gonna get to go into VR? Aw, oh, come on, man. Well, whatever.
Yeah, because in uh, Neon Struct, uh, there's a couple of VR sections, so I'm very surprised that that's not part of this game. But we're just going to make one more save because I don't know if we're doing the right thing so far. Uh, when you're finished, return to the escape elevator. Great. D. All geocaches not undetected. No takedowns, no bodies. Who found a... Oh, yeah. Never mind. Everything's mysteriously spooky right now. Okay. I'm guessing the entire place is empty. I can get that one twice. That's pretty cool. Woo! Yeah, Minor Key, they make some good games. I'm not a huge fan of roguelites, so Slayer, Sh Slayer Shock's a little bit less of a roguelite, or roguelike. Um, it is permadeath, but the levels are pretty short, and then once the level's over, you keep your progress. So whatever you gained in the level, you keep. Um, and then you can go and take stuff that you found, and, and, and XP and items and things like that, and you can go take them to um, people at your hideout and level your character up. And... Um, there's a lot of RNG, I feel like, for how the mission structure goes. This is a good and a bad thing. It means the difficulty curves kind of all over the place, but it also means that you can just kind of keep trying missions again. There's really no penalty for having to, like, try a mission over or do something. And there's usually more than one mission available at a time. So if you're struggling with one, you can kind of just be like, well, whatever, and, and do another one. Uh, that might be easier for you and then do it that way so it may actually be a game that I can tolerate you know I just the thing about roguelikes that I just can't stand is just you know one little mistake and then you're back at square one um, the only one that I liked was FTL because here's the thing you can actually get about two to three hours into FTL without too much of a fuss you know Why isn't the elevator coming? Ah! Stop where you are. Put your hands behind your head. What's the matter, sir? I'm a new recruit. Just got here. Shut up. I know who you really are. And I know what you're doing here. You've been on our radar for radar for a long time, Detective One. How do you know that name? Call me Snake. <laughs> Who do you think our anonymous client was? A foreign warlord buying military secrets? Or the special agent whose trap you walked right into? People like you are dangerous. It's the job of people like me to assess and mitigate the danger, however we see fit. You can't do that. You can't just make me disappear. I have safeguards in place. People who know where I am. People who miss me. No, oh, I all know all about you, Vinu Chibber, and your family. And that's why I'm going to make you an offer. My name is Asak Furtwangler. The agency is needed, has a need for someone of your particular talents. Yep, Half-Life reference, called it. And of course, we want to keep a close eye on you. You offering me a job? It will be a probationary hire. Your compensation will be, I'm sure, Somewhat less than you are accustomed to earning in the private sector, but we will pay to relocate you and your family to D.C. What if I refuse? 
then you will be detained immediately and charged with criminal trespass, theft of classified information, and the intent to commit treason. I'm sure we can get some counts of assault tacked on there, too. So, Mr. Shiver, what will you do? Alright guys, that was it. That was pretty cool. Yeah, some, you know, Deus Ex mis mixed with uh, Half-Life references there. I thought it was a pretty fun uh, game. Um, I was thinking about tacking on the other DLC, but right now, I think I'll split those into two videos. I may even do it just right now, but I'll at least have them be two videos. So, uh, Neon Struct, check it out. That was a nice little... Uh, little game uh, that was a nice little DLC sort of addendum to the gameplay of Neon Struct with the interesting little uh, plot I liked it it does remind me a lot of more uh, sort of like fan missions for Thief which is by the way something I am absolutely planning on getting into so thanks for joining me I hope you enjoyed this and stay tuned or keep your eyes out I should say for more content